Hey guys, Dungeon J here. Today I'm going to go ahead and bring you a little bit of a Kickstarter demo of a roguelike uh, called Stone Shard. Now this is the, uh, the the prologue, so it's basically the beginning. It's just uh, kind of setting you up. Uh, it's supposed to be an open world, uh, a freedom reign type of uh, Diablo-esque game. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it, see what it's all about. Now this is a Kickstarter demo. Uh, it looks pretty interesting, and as you guys know, I kind of... Uh, uh, handpick the demos and stuff like that that I kind of throw up on the channel for you guys to view try to find something that's very interesting stone chart seems to fit that build basically it's Diablo if it was turn based so we're gonna go ahead and check it out see what it's all about alright so damn it where am I ooh a vampire guard Well, well, too bad for you. Okay. Alright, so... Looks like a little box. Break the shackles. Open inventory by pressing I. Free yourself from the shackles. Okay. So, I remove them. And can I drop? There we go. Good deal. Can I search him? Alright, so what does he got? Satisfy hunger and thirst. Open the inventory and use the needed items with the right mouse button. Alright, so lockpicks. Check. So I'm hungry. And I'm thirsty. So hunger and thirst do play a major role. So let's eat that and let's drink some of this. Cool. Get out. Press uh, the right mouse button on the chamber door and pick the lock. Okay. What's that right there? Oh, that's the shackles. Okay. All right. So we're not interested in that. Let's see what's down here. Modes. Skip turn. Settings. Quests. So there's quests. Look at the skills window. So I've got active and passive abilities. Okay. Uh, tier 2 is locked. Tier 1 is actually locked right now too. Axes, maces, daggers, great swords, bows, shields. Oh my. There's a ton of different weapons. Okay, class skills. This is kind of interesting. Let's see what this is. Against the odds, your health can't drop below 30%. You gain 30%. Uh, increased damage returned for 4 turns. Okay, so you can't die basically for four turns. That's a pretty interesting uh, class skill. Increase 15% weapon damage and 2.5% critical uh, chance when attacking lone enemies in line of sight. All right, and uh, tier two is of course locked. Armor, dual wielding, sabotage, basic skills, medicine, sorcery. That's very interesting. Flame wave. We've also got overheat, or you've got, so you've got fire, or you got electricity, so far. And, ooh, I like this one. Enchant your weapon with lightning for six attacks, giving an extra 25% weapon damage as shock damage. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see what the modes are. Modes, uh, stealth mode and rest mode. Alright. Alright. Let's see, pain resistance, uh, plus 75% restore, 15% health, mana regeneration, counter chance, block, prerequisites, no enemies in sight, taking damage. Okay, so I can go ahead and rest. Right? Can I rest? How would I do that? That's what I would like to do. Okay, so it's not going to let me do that until I pick the lock. Okay. So let's do that first. What is this? Optimism state, fortitude, 20% willpower, blah, blah, blah. Bonus XP, 20%. These uh, stats will not disappear while your morale and sanity are high enough. Okay, well, let's get out of this for a minute. Blocked. Let's pick it. Good deal. All right. Go ahead. 
said rain lady. All right. Let's go ahead and pick this up. We'll equip it. So now I have a sword and a shield. Find the key and escape the prison. Okay. Let's go back to modes here. Let's see if I can... Can I actually rest? Okay, so I don't need to rest. I'm at full hit points. So I guess that just happens while you're resting. Cool, cool, cool. Stealth mode. Let's go with that one. Okay. So now I guess I'm in stealth mode. So let's see if we can find a key. Get the hell out of here. Corpse doesn't have anything on him. It's a barrel. Okay, so rotten fish. If I eat that, it could actually poison me. We'll go ahead and take it though. Alright, so it doesn't look like anything else that way. Let's see if we can go ahead and pick this. See if there's anything in here. Nope. Let's go ahead and get over here, pick this one. We need lock picks. Okay, well, I may have just screwed the pooch by taking all my lock picks. Alright, what did we get? A rotten pear. Okay. Alright, is there anything in this one? Nope. Okay. There's the key. We'll go ahead and get the key. Beautiful. And this looks like the door. Let's go ahead and uh, open use the key. I feel it with my guts. Better be aware. The voice acting uh, sounds a little stiff, guys. Kind of computer generated, but that's okay. What the? Okay, it was a trap. It's a roguelite, so. All right, let's try this one more time. Now that we kind of got an idea of what's going on. All right, good deal. Open up the inventory. Go ahead and drop those. Yep. Poor lock. All right, let's go ahead and get some lock picks. Some water. Some bread. We'll go ahead and eat the bread. And drink the water. I'm going to go ahead and rest. See the hit points regenerating down here. That works. Okay. All right, so let's pick this. Go ahead and get the uh, sword and shield. Alright, so... Thirst condition. Let's uh, drink some more water. Okay. You can actually switch weapon sets. That's cool. Let's see if... Uh, no, it's supposed... To it may all be the same stuff, guys. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, we got the key. Good deal. Go ahead and unlock the door. There we go. And then we're going to stealth. Use the skill several times 
search surroundings. Well, still kicking. Gotta remember how it works. All right, so search surroundings. Okay, well I'm pressing it. How close? Okay, there we go. Let's, let's disarm it. Search the corpse. He's got a peasant sash. All right. Looks like we're going this way. Looks like a bow. Here's some, uh, all right, some different stuff. We got some bread. Cool. An antidote, very high. Pain resistance, plus 75%. Sanity is decreased. Side effects may include. Okay. Uh, splint stabilizes any injury. Ointment reduces the severity of moderate to severe energy uh, injuries. Heals light injuries. And increases the resistance to pain. 10% restore of health. Ether inhaler, it's a pain killer, a killer, uh, removes mental debuffs, has toxicity, average, okay, is there anything else in here, and I see that, okay, wait, gotta light it up, time to search, okay, Arm yourself with a bow, equip the bow, you can quickly switch your weapons uh, loadouts by pressing tab or, okay, so tab. So bow and arrow, alright, and that's how I will do that safely. Also I'm hungry, so let me go ahead and eat some more food, and very optimistic right now. Boom. Boom, baby. Alright, how long does it take to explode? Okay. So it actually hit me. Huh. Open the inventory and use both splints to stabilize your wounds. Stabilized injuries heal over time. Okay. And what's this? Mind pain, willpower, intelligence, uh, stabilize, counter, optimism. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to rest mode for a minute. And let's rest. Get back some hit points. There we go. Go ahead and loot this bow back again have it back to my sword and shield alright so I've got a vampire here alright my pain level is increasing left untreated the shock may kill you open your inventory and use the ether inhaler to reduce your pain level okay Most painkillers are toxic, high toxicity can kill you, lower your toxicity, inject an antidote, or drink lots of water. The first steps is the hardest. Let's carry on. Okay. Alright, so keep going. Well, I've got to fight this guy. Okay, I've got pickle locks left, I've got ointment, I've got an inhaler. All right, good deal. Now what's this? Heroism. I'm stabilized. Okay, heroism actually increases a bunch of stuff, guys. We'll check that out later, but it means I'm basically buffed at the moment. Here's a nice little door. Let's check it out. Okay. Anything in here? There's another door. You can check these out. Okay, let's see. Uh, diary page. Okay. Uh, some coins. Alright. 
Let's read this real quick. Gods hate this world and everyone of its inhabitants indeed. Aldor has been overrun by disasters lately. When the fires of war faded, we had no respite before another calamity set in. All right, so this is just uh, telling you a little backdrop to the history. Kind of interesting. Okay, well, it's great, man. Let me, uh, hello. So I've read it. Now let's close it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are we doing here? And why is it stuck? All right, guys. Well, it is a demo. So I just broke it by reading. Okay, there we go. I could exit out of it. All right. That's what I needed to do. Big Book of Salamanders allows you to learn the first tier of pyromancy. What? Okay. Coins. You can add it to that pile. Let's read it. Unlocked Pyromancy Tier 1. All right, we do not have to read all this stuff. That's cool. We'll figure that out later. So... Let's open to our skills menu. Let's go down to sorcery, pyromancy, and choose it and unlock the first tier skills. Confirm it. Using simple spell. I like it. Now the active skill is available. Move it to the hot bar to be able to activate it. Okay. So let's see, flame wave. Got it. And then my passive, 15% chance to ignite an enemy for five turns after casting any. All right, it gives me a little mana regen. Flame wave deals eight damage to all targets in the affected area. Okay. All right. Nice. Uh-oh. All right. Let's see. Okay. Can I use it now? Beautiful. All right, so I hit him with it. Got him. Set him on fire. All right. Uh, this is a uh, another book. All right. This is a. Uh, I don't understand the diary. Something about praise the court and disease and all that fun stuff. Now there is a, a cavern down there. True death lies forward. There's too much at stake. I must survive against the odds. Okay. Go down the stairs. You acquired your unique class skill. Use it wisely and it will prove more than useful. Alright. A whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, another diary. So there's some interesting lore involved in this, but uh, identification scroll. So I guess if you wanted to get into the meat and potatoes, everything is in vain. The whole district is diseased. So this is kind of telling you some of the backdrop to the story. So that's kind of interesting. It's already got kind of a story put together. This is the uh, prologue, after all. As if we hadn't had troubles enough today, the whole of Wintersbrook uh, came to the temple. Okay. All right, so kind of get an idea of the story surrounding this. And I have found the exit to the door, and it's loading. Ancient catacombs. Find the stairs to the next floor. I have made my way. Another potion. Elven mud. It quenches th uh, thirst. Uh, increases my morale. And causes freshness. I'm not sure what that means, but now I've got it. Nothing in there. I took damage or something. No? Okay, what's this? Against the odds. Active. Your health can't drop. Alright, so I've picked up a passive skill. Also, I didn't know I'd done that. Let me look at my skill tree. Last skills. Against the odds. 
All right. So I can't die for four turns. All right. Go open this door. Some kind of vampire bat. Can't hit him with an arrow worth a damn. Okay, if you switch weapons, it, it takes a turn. Now I've got a little rat. And with that, blowing them apart, guys. Got a splint. Nothing in the tool shelf. All right, there's a few doors here, guys. I got a, a door here. Bunch of stuff in here. Fire. Uh, leeches. Uh, restores health each turn 5%. Pain low. Morale decrease. May cause bleeding. Give and take situation. So it's a risk and reward. And... Real meat. That's actually a good pickup. I'm thirsty again. Let's go ahead and see what the, uh, let's see what the Elven Mud does. All right, so freshness, mental, it gives me psionic resistance, perception, and intellect. So it gives me a little boost. My thoughts are clear. All right, I've got a key, unlocks one common un uh, lock. Nice, nice, guys. Uh, I can use a key to unlock that, but let's go ahead and keep on going. Maybe not hit that first door, you know what I mean? Okay, let's switch. And there we go. Beautiful. Now I've alerted something down here. Grab me some bread. Wow. All right. I feel like I'm about to die. I've got some bad mojos right here. Gonna, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. We're about to have some trouble. Let's see. If I wait a couple seconds against the odds, may get me through this. I blew him up. All right, so he he exploded on himself. There's the witch. Oops. All right. No problem, man. A lot of uh, mobs are coming out of nowhere, guys. There's another bat. Onward ho. That's right, man. Making things happen. Okay, so that can ease pain. Excellent. Got some more gold. So obviously this is a place where you can buy uh, equipment later on somewhere. If they're giving you gold coins. Or maybe you can trade it for something. An unidentified shield. So let's go ahead and use our identification scroll on this. And, oh, it's a green item. Nimble Oaken Shield. It actually gives me a plus one to agility. Gives me a negative of spell power. Right? Okay. But a plus one agility. Risk reward. 
we'll go ahead and slap that sucker on there and if you notice it it isn't notched out like that wooden oaken sword oaken shield that we just saw so there is better graded equipment that you can get into this as well oh here we go we only got 17 hit points guys so that being said keep on going actually back up a little bit all right gonna hit him with the spell yet no wow he just knocked the teetotal pp out of me all right out of mana i leveled or something i'm not sure what happened there let's uh go to the skill window see if maybe i learned something i don't know no okay character sheet uh level two all right so i just leveled up to level two whatever that means can i increase this now all right so there you go i can increase my intellect as well so there you go i've increased my strength i've increased my intellect because i leveled up I'm not sure what all that stuff does yet and we'll go over here still can't I'm, you may have to find a tomb or something like that let's see we're still trying to find the exit okay this looks interesting oh there's some arrows good deal man I love arrows let's uh, put them right here see if I can stack okay so I can stack now I've got 13 arrows some food or this another sponge can you stack the sponges no you can't all right so the inventory is filling up pretty quick guys all right Looks like everything right there is explored. Let's go over this way. Let's open it. All right, so there's a bunch of mobs right there. Okay, he just hit me with something. He stunned me, all right. I'm hungry, that's fine. Beautiful. All right. Let's go get this little flask. Unidentified potion. Uh, we're not going to waste the uh, scroll on that just now. This gives me uh, regeneration and anti-venom. Another splint. Ooh, a new sword. An unidentified sword, see? So, there you go. Let's go ahead and use this on the sword. Mighty Claymore. It's an uncommon great sword. And to use it, I have to... Actually, uh, take up two slots, so I, I can't use a shield. Which is fine. Now I've got a huge Claymore. Another sponge. Or no, this is a piece of cheese. I am hungry. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Switch to the bow. Shoot that. Let's go ahead and move one spot. Beautiful. A repair kit repairs 20% durability to any equipment piece. Okay, so let's see. I don't need this. No reason to hold on to those. Put the book right there. Put that right there. And there we go. Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it here. I think this is a long enough gameplay. I think we all get a good sense of what's going on with this game. It's actually pretty cool. The name of it is Stone Shard. It's on Kickstarter right now. Uh, it's got a pretty nice ratio of backing. 
And it's a well thought out game, man. It's got a little bit of lore. It's got a lot of different uh, crafting equipment. Uh, it's got turn-based uh, um, um, combat. It's very traditional. It's basically, like I said, Diablo if it was turn-based. And um, yeah, man, I, I really dig it. And I hope you guys did, enjoyed it as well. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this as it goes forward. Hopefully it will get backed. It does look like it's going to get backed. And uh, maybe this is a game we'll see uh, drop on Steam in the future. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, guys. This is Dungeon J. Have a great day gaming. Later.